Rappers are known for spending their lives trying to build images out of excess and street cred. Although many can be taken seriously and have had an actually useful message, there are many who make us shake our heads. Excess has also been their thing since that time when MC Hammer put marble floors in his whole house, and violence seems to be a part of their lives. Let's have a closer look at Tory Lanez and how he has destroyed a possibly lucrative career by allegedly shooting Megan the Stallion in the foot. What's going on with this rapper? But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Interact with us, subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks. What happened? DaBaby's controversial Rolling Loud performance continues to stir up trouble, not just for him, but also for his surprise special guest Tory Lanez as well. DaBaby went out of his way to do a big reveal of Lanez on Saturday, July 24th during his set at the Hip Hop Festival in Miami. But a lot of fans weren't happy about him doing that, because Megan Thee Stallion performed on the same stage right before Tory Lanez came out to perform. For those of you who don't remember, Tory is accused of shooting Megan in the feet last year. And Rolling Loud sources with direct knowledge tell us that Megan and her team at the festival were very upset about him appearing on stage with the baby less than an hour after she finished her set. Megan was upset because a judge issued a protective order following the alleged shooting incident, requiring Tori to stay at least 100 yards away from Megan. And apparently, she was still backstage when Lanes took to the stage with the baby. To rub salt into the wounds, Megan's camp is annoyed that the baby performed one of her songs on which he's featured. Right before bringing out Lanes. We're told those close to MTS feel that this was a giant F you to her, mocking her and the ongoing criminal case with Tori, and in a way, intimidating her. It may also not have been a good thing that Lanes was on stage with the baby, who went into an anti-LGBTQ rant saying, if you didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, or any of them deadly sexually transmitted diseases, then put your cell phone lighter up, the baby said with the cocksure confidence of a fool. Ladies, if your P words smell like water, put your cell phone lighter lighters up. Fellas, if you ain't sucking D in the parking lot, put your cell phone lighters up. In a later video, the baby even clarified and doubled down on his statement, even going so far as to say that his gay fans and homies understood where he was coming from. But the math didn't add up. Lane seemed to defend the baby with the following tweet on July 28th. When did rap get so politically correct that you can't speak your mind and have an opinion? Why was rap started? For us to speak our mind. Rappers will not always be right and you don't have to agree, but they have a right to speak their mind. His fans, of which there are a lot less today, responded on Twitter. One said, it's not speaking your mind, it's spreading ignorance and making ignorant comments. Just like making racism or sexist comments isn't freedom of speech or speaking your mind, it's ignorance. Another fan said, nah, you don't stigmatize any kind of people at all. And someone else said, no, quite frankly, stop speaking the mind that you refuse to fuel with sense. As for you, who likes to shoot women in the feet, you are nobody's voice of reason. Eat your vegetables. Fans left some more responses consequences for having an opinion? That's not how it works. It's freedom of speech. Both sides are allowed to express opinions that everyone may not always agree with, but oh well, women shrugging. Another said, censorship. Rap's origin has always been to literally speak on whatever you want without any judgment. And now it's all PG because it appeals to a broader market, aka more money. And another said this, um, it's not about political correctness. It's about saying offensive things about people who are already struggling with stigmas and prejudices. Oh, but I forgot you're pretending you didn't just shoot someone last summer. With these kinds of statements that Lane's made, and the fact that people do not take too kindly when a male rapper shoots a woman in the foot, and the fact that Lane's may have ignored a restraining order means he has gone a long way toward ending his rap career, just like the baby has. It also does not help when the woman you shoot has an op-ed in the New York Times of all places. She wrote about the shooting in a piece called Why I Speak Up for Black Women. The shooting incident. On July 15, 2020, Megan the Stallion stated that she had suffered gunshot wounds and that she had undergone surgery to remove the bullets. Her statement countered an early TMZ report that she had injured her foot on broken glass three days prior when she was in a car with rapper Tory Lanez and an unidentified woman. The car was pulled over by police and Lanez was arrested on gun charges following a vehicle search. On July 27, 2020, she revealed that she was shot in both feet and denounced the rumors and jokes in an Instagram Live session, where she also recounted the incident and cried. The following month, Megan claimed that Lanes was the person who shot her, saying that I didn't tell the police what happened immediately 
right there because I didn't want to die. On September 25th, 2020, Lanes released his fifth album, Day Star, in which he addresses the shooting in nearly every song and denies that he shot Megan while also claiming she and her team were trying to frame him. The same day, in a statement to Variety, Megan's attorney, Alex Spiro, claimed Lanes' representatives have since attempted to launch a smear campaign against Megan to discredit her allegations. Spiro stated, We have been made aware of manipulated text messages and invented email accounts that have been disseminated to the media in a calculated attempt to peddle a false narrative about the events that occurred. Lanes' team denied this, saying that they would investigate who was behind the fake emails and would take appropriate action. Megan the Stallion would also later reveal that she had been offered money by Lanes and his team to keep quiet on the issue following the incident. On October 8, 2020, Lanes was charged with shooting Megan the Stallion by LA County prosecutors. An arraignment for Lanes was scheduled on October 13th. However, it was delayed to November 18th after Lanes' attorney requested a continuance. A protective order has since been issued against Lanes. He's to stay at least 100 yards away from Megan and not contact her. He was also ordered to surrender any guns he owns. In an op-ed for the New York Times published on October 13th, 2020, Megan addressed the shooting further, writing, Black women are still constantly disrespected and disregarded in so many areas of life. I was recently the victim of an act of violence by a man. After a party, I was shot twice as I walked away from him. We're not in a relationship. Truthfully, I was shocked that I ended up in that place. If convicted, Lanes may face a maximum sentence of 22 years and eight months in state prison. He pleaded not guilty to assault with a semi-automatic handgun in late November 2020. In the same month, Megan Thee Stallion released her debut studio album, Good News, on which the album opener is the diss track, Shots Fired, directed towards Lanes. The song gained acclaim, with many critics noting that it samples and interpolates the 1995 song Who Shot Ya by the notorious B.I.G. Lanes has money to blow on jewelry. One of the first ever pieces of jewelry that Lanes owned was a piece where Jesus is on the cross. Lanes said that what made this piece so fine was that if you looked closely, you could see Jesus had his gun fingers out. Tori, those are index fingers. Tori owns numerous rings, most of them iced out. He has a baguette pinky ring. He said he got that ring and many others from Ace the Jeweler in the Bronx. He has one ring that was on the cover of Love. He actually referred to the ring in his album and how big it was. Lanes has a chain that was his first big purchase. The chain in question is iced out with various sized diamonds. He bought this chain for $175,000. It's still his favorite chain and he wears it more than his other chains. He also has a $65,000 chain with the letters FU on it and the word Forever Umbrella. He does not wear it anymore because the M fell off. Forever Umbrella is Lanes's clothing line. He has another piece that features a young woman carrying an umbrella in a storm. That piece is worth $32,000. Lanes owns some expensive watches as well. One is an iced out Sky Dweller. Lanes did not reveal how much the watch cost. Like any good rapper, Lanes also has grills. These are done by AB Jewelers. He has at least two solid gold grills and a diamond grill or two. We hope Lanes enjoys wearing his jewelry in jail. With that, we have come to the end of the video. What do you think about Tory Lanes and his lifestyle? Feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you back here again for another video, but until then, stay safe.